Hello stock traders. I hope all of you had a good trading day today. Today was a very difficult day on the market and we are seeing a little bit of pullback and a little bit of nervousness about some of the Fed minutes that have come out. So it can be tough just to know what stocks do I go into? What do I do in this type of situation? Well, when we start to see a pullback in the market, some of the things that I do, first of all, is I close my call options. I don't have call options open. If I have any options open, they're going to be put options to take advantage of the market because you never want to fight the direction that the market is going. Now, I do not really like options. I find them to be too volatile and I do not like any investment where I can lose 100% of my investment. That is my own personal opinion, but sometimes I do options, but I do it in very small percentages, like maybe 1%. But with how the market's going, you might be asking yourself, I need some safe stocks. I need something to really help me that's got a really strong catalyst to help me get through this time if we indeed we are going to see wave two of the Elliott wave or a continued correction and an actual correction off the stock market. And so either one of those scenarios can play out. I personally believe that we're in wave that we're in the beginnings of wave two. And I don't even have that confirmed yet, but it appears that way. And so we shall see. I'm going to take a look at that with you to try to help determine. And everyone's got different opinions on how that goes but with how the market has been it can be tough to know what to do so today in today's video I'm going to give you five safe stocks to buy in these volatile times that have such strong catalyst that it does not matter within reason what the market is going to do and so I have some really good stuff I think all these five picks could be explosive even and should have really nice runs up to a particular date but these should be great to get into. So the only thing I ask in return is that before we get started, if you could please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you like these lists that I come out with for free, consider subscribing and turning on those bell notifications so you get notified when one of these videos comes out. And if you're curious about my opinion, and you must just understand that it is only my opinion, I am not a financial advisor. And so, of course, you need to do your own due diligence, but sometimes two heads are better than one. I am a stock trader who's had a lot of success this year and in years past. I am up over 155% so far this year. I had an amazing 2020, an amazing 2019. That does not mean that I know everything and that I don't make mistakes, but I'm very good at risk management and all the things you need to do to be a successful trader. I try to do them and I work very, very hard at it. It doesn't come easy. You have to work at it. Let's get going. Let's talk about the state of the market and talk about the SPY. Let's get to looking at what I am seeing. Okay, so we've been charting the uh, five wave and it's, it appears that we had maybe just the quickest three wave correction that you've ever seen. We had a nice gap that pulled up here. We had a gap downward and immediately bulls came in and filled that gap and bought that gap. And so it appears that we have been in wave one. And today we might signal the beginning of wave two of a pullback. And I think we can get down as low as this gap that was here before. And I think that uh, that 424 level, that gap might fill as we come down here. We still have not had a negative cross of the MACD on the SPY. I like to track the SPY as far as the overall market. Reason is the top 500 companies in the market. And so it gives me a good indication of how the market is moving and what is going on. Okay, so let's take a look at the triple Q's today. So we had a rough day today indeed. But let's take a look at the triple Q's and see exactly what's going on there. Had a little bit of a pullback definitely appears to still be a bull run. We were well uh, overheated and overbought here on the RSI. So a little pullback is not that big a deal. So, you know, I mean, this isn't anything definitely to be concerned about. So let's take a look at the VIX. It's so important to pay attention to the volatility index. 
And today we had a really nice, well, not nice jump. The higher this goes, the worse it is for the stock market. And so when this gets high and it ended on a high note, so fear was at its worst by the end of the day. And so seeing this, you know, getting over 20 is uh, very concerning. And so definitely don't like that. That would be very bearish for the market in the short term. But, you know, I really don't think it's as bad as everyone thinks it is. Uh, you know, some people have called me a perma bull. That is okay with me. I don't care. Uh, anyway, we have this great group. So if you're looking for a group of investors that are really trying to help one another, check it out. We have a link down below in the description down below. It is our Patreon group. And uh, in there, you will get lots of great trade ideas. There's not only me, but other professional traders, depending upon what level you choose. And we have lots of good things going on there and constant picks and alerts and such of that nature going on. And then I also, I like to use Weeble. As you can see here, I am using the Weeble desktop app and I really like to use it. Strong tools, really good to use. If you are looking for free stocks, we have a link in the description down below if you're looking for a powerful broker. The one thing I love about Weeble is the pre-market and after-market hours, and so I wanted to just point that out. If you are looking for a broker, I recommend you check out and use the link provided down below. Also, I have a link for BlockFi down below. If you are a cryptocurrency trader and you want to earn interest on your cryptocurrencies, in my opinion, the best way to buy cryptocurrency is to buy a little bit over time and just buy it and hold it and it's literally, literally hodling. Hold on for dear life and you just hold on, but you can earn interest while you are doing that. And so I think that's a powerful tool and I like BlockFi. I have a link down below where you can get free crypto by using that link. If you're looking for a powerful crypto wallet, in my opinion, I like that the best. All right, let's get to this top five list and stop messing around. Here we go. Pick number five is Cassavia Sciences. You almost can't go wrong right now with Cassavia Sciences. Yes, this is on a crazy bull run. You're saying, but Ray, how do you know that this is going to continue? Well, this is a phase data run up play. Uh, and this has been very, very popular in our group. I recommended it way back when, and it has been running really nicely. We are way up in this thing, uh, but uh, they have phase two data that is going to be presented and different results presented on July 26th. I expect this to run up until that date, and it's anywhere between the 26th and the 29th, and so I feel confident that this is going to continue. Why? Because this stock hit 140 in the past. Uh, it's had some really, really big moves in the past as we go back here in the past. It, well, it says 117 here, but I do believe it hit 140. So I don't, I don't know what that's about. Maybe I'm mistaken on that, but still even 117 in the past. And as we get further and further and closer and closer to phase three data, this is on their Alzheimer's drug. It is also very, very significant. I expect this to continue to run. You almost can't go wrong. Literally sell it July 25th, July 24th, if you want to avoid the risk of the actual announcement. But this one should be one you could make 10 to 20 percent on the run up till that time so that is how i plan on playing it and i like the way it looks and it looks really really good okay next stock we're going to talk about stock number four is ticker symbol r-a-c-e so this is ferrari so they are buying back shares right now. And so this little cross of the MACD is just the beginning. I am expecting this one to race upwards. There's some other things kind of going on today. We got a new price target uh, by Morgan Stanley of $265. So there's some really nice upside here. I like race a lot. And I have the question for you and a little bit of a riddle. If you own enough race, to buy a Ferrari, can you say you own a Ferrari? Tough questions, tough questions. Anyway, I am liking this one big time for the move upwards. I think this is going to be great. And this is a safe stock to get into because of the buying back shares and the Morgan Stanley analyst upgrade. So both those things should be very, very safe to hold this through this time period and through this time as we're going. All right, ticker symbol next number three ticker symbol stld 
This is steel dynamics. Now, steel, especially with the approved plan that we have going on as far as the restructuring um, and basically the repavement. Anyway, steel is going to do very, very well. Uh, and also STLD has announced buying back shares. So this is part of my buyback strategy. And this is covered in our premium room. And uh, the price of steel should continue to rise, do very, very well. The demand is going to be very, very strong as we have the infrastructure deal going on. And so STLD is a nice, safe, stock that has not had even the MACD cross here. You can see it getting momentum, but this has a high uh, possibility on it. Analysts are also bullish on it with an average at 76. I think you really can't go wrong here, especially if you can catch a dip on this as people cancel uh, and, and sell out shares. Uh, I think this is going to be really, really great, extremely safe and could be very explosive. As it moves upwards, I even expect it to get past those analyst targets very, very soon. All right, ticker symbol number two is ticker symbol ALBO. This is Alberio Pharma. And you're like, Ray, you keep talking about this stock. It is also in my top seven stocks. So I like this stock a lot for a PDUFA run-up date. So they have a PDUFA date of July 20th, and it's just a couple of weeks away. But I'm expecting this to really start to run as we get going. Uh, we did get a little bit overheated here, and we've kind of pulled back. But I expect this just to continue as that momentum gets us all the way to that 20th date right there. And so this is one, you know, a couple, you know, it's going to be great, I think, for a couple of weeks. And I'm expecting a move upwards. And this is very safe because we know the FDA decision is coming up. Investors are going to get excited about this stock on the run up. And so this is a safe stock to get into, into tomorrow and ride the wave. This should be very, very good. All right, ticker symbol. This next one is a value play. It has been beaten up ridiculously is ticker symbol C V M cell sciences. Okay. So you can see this huge sell off and guess what? It went too far. It is too good a deal right now. And so this has been beaten up unfairly. This is completely and utterly unfair that this stock is at $8 a share is just ridiculous. One analyst has a target of 12. There's only one analyst covering. But I expect this to be very, very powerful. Now, there's been a letter to shareholders that came out just recently. And along with that, the officers of the company backed it up with their own money. Yes, this is an insider swing play. Also, we've had massive insider buying. And with the terrific buy that it is, all the insider buying happened right at 8 and so they saw this dip and they said, uh, no, that's too good a deal. They came in the next day and bought up shares. And so I really do expect this to make a recovery. Trust me, directors, officers, they don't spend their own money on a stock unless they are sure that it's going to do very well six months from now. So this stock should continue and be a great one right now with the time going because I don't think the market could mar could get it any lower. There's too much good with this company. And yes, they had a little bit of a setback with they did not meet a primary end point. But to go from $27 to eight is stupid. And it's an overreaction big time. So I like CVM to move up. Feel very confident that's a nice, safe stock to be in, that you might be able to make explosive gains, especially as they spin the news. We could see this get back in the 20s, and we could be talking about 300% gains in not too long a distant future. I wish all of you the best in the stock market. Thanks to all of you who watch on YouTube and all who have subscribed. And of course, to all my Patreon members who support me through that way and all the Discord members that I get to talk to each and every day. Please remember at the end of the year, do good with some profits that you make on the stock market. Bless those that are around you and make your community a better place. I wish you all the best and let's have a great weekend and a great Friday. And Raytoven out.